Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I have with me right here, this is the 64 gigabyte in memory M1 Max edition of the MacBook Pro. And to be honest with you, hopefully this will save you guys some money. I don't think I need it. I've been trying my best to destroy my 32 gigabyte memory edition. Android Studio, I've got Unreal Engine, I've got Final Cut Pro, I've got 3D Mark 11. I have, I have, I have some crazy stuff going on right now. And I'll show you how much of a slowdown, if there is like a bottleneck in any of my workflows. I've been trying to destroy it. Seriously, I've been trying to destroy it. I've got this Windows 11 and it's not just normal Windows 11. I'm actually using 24 gigabytes in my Windows 11. So I'm just going to start up my 3D Mark. So we're doing 3D Mark. Oh, what's that behind it? That's Final Cut Pro playing a 4K video with effects. Right now, this, this video has actually got over a million views. Playing that video in real time in the background. And what's that on the screen right there? That is Unreal Engine 5 right here, running around. Jumping around, I'm playing it. I've had no out of memory errors. I don't know how this is working. It's going at least over 60 frames a second. Unreal Engine 5. What else could be going on my screen right now? Let me just swipe up. I've got Chrome. I've got, was it an iPad simulator right there? Playing around, I've got, whoa. That's an Android phone right there because I also have not just Android Studio, I've got Xcode running a project right there. And just to top this all off, I'm actually streaming this whole show live to Twitch right now. So I'm twitching it up, screen, streaming, streaming the whole video to the screen. Hello people. Streaming, recording the screen, saving it to the file. I've got Xcode, Android Studio. I've got Unreal Engine. I've got Final Cut Pro. I've got 3D Mark 11. And the amount of memory I'm using right now, but I'm only using 25.8 gigabytes of RAM. And as you can see, everything is flowing like frame rate of, of this guy, 25 frames a second in 3D Mark. That's uh, emulating Windows x86 with ARM. I don't know what's going on. Final Cut Pro just having its way in the background. Chrome is destroying the world. Unreal Engine 5 is playing around still. It's just, it's so fast the way it compresses the RAM, caches it, uncaches it, compresses it. And I've even got it on an external display. So, and, uh, and it didn't even move the needle on that. So all of this stuff is running. I'm still trying to find a way to crash this system, but I still haven't found a way. So for you guys out there thinking, maybe you need the 64 gigabyte edition, let me know what your use case is. Send me some of your massive project files. Let me see if I can break this system, because so far I can't. Like I had, I had both computers side by side just trying to destroy them both and there was literally no difference between the two. All right, so here is one more time live. This is Chrome with tons and tons of funds of tabs. So let's first start up with Parallels, 3D Mark running and we've got Unreal Engine running. I hit play, both getting 120 frames a second. Okay, let's fire up some Final Cut. You see, we've got both videos playing. We got Unreal engine playing in the background here. Got 120 frames a second on both. And we've got 3D Mark, both 30 frames a second hitting it. So that's Final Cut over there running. So let's launch up Xcode. And let's launch up OBS as well. And let's start recording the screen. Okay, we've got Logic Pro playing back. We've got iOS running. In the background here, we've got OBS, we've got Final Cut Pro, we've got, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, and let's fire up Activity Monitor. And we can see that we've used 26 gigabytes on the 32 edition, and we've used 53 gigabytes on the 64 edition. So we are needing more RAM, but you don't notice a difference because it's just, I don't know how it's doing it. App Memories. 14 gigabytes here, app memory is 45 gigabytes here, and they're running the same. There's no stoppages, it's all running. And finally, on the scores on 3D Mark, we got 3,000, 3,400 on the 32 and 3,900 on 64. But to be honest with you, you don't notice the speed difference. This, when you're in this application, it's running just the same. When you switch over to another application, it runs just as good. This guy's still running, this guy's still running. And if you combine applications, for example, if we put Final Cut with Unreal Engine, put them on one side, put them on the other side, it's smooth. So that's Final Cut and Unreal Engine working together in harmony. Oh, Merry Christmas. Hope you
hope you guys found this video useful. I gotta say, uh, maybe if you're using Rosetta 2 for some applications, I know when I was using Chrome previously, the Intel version of Chrome, that destroyed my memory. And maybe if you use an application that is heavy, I presume this. OBS is an Intel. Unreal Engine 5 is an Intel. Windows, that's use, using x86 eventually. So uh, I need to try figuring out how to destroy it, but hopefully it'll save you guys some money out there. Maybe you don't need the 64 gigabytes version, maybe just save that money. And then next year when Apple released the M2 and it destroys this laptop completely, then uh, just put your money towards that in the future. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Android Studio, I've got Unreal Engine, I've got Final Cut Pro, I've got 3D Mark 11.